Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, I've got 27 bread and butter Bolo items coming your way. They are all $30 or less. So every item I'm gonna share with you sold for $30 or less. I'm gonna tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. All right, let's get started. All right, the first item I picked up at a garage sale and it was a bulk buy. This one still had the original packaging and I sold this for $18 and the buyer paid shipping. Let me make sure my screen sharing is working. Yes, it is. Okay, um, it was a bulk buy. I bought a ton of stuff. So I'm guessing a dollar, maybe two in this. And it's pretty cool. So it looks like uh, there's no face because it covers your face. It's kind of fun. All right, the next item is this Longaburger Pottery Travel Mug. And I think I still have a pink one that is the same listed. And if you guys are interested, the link is down in the description of the video. And if you make an offer, just put Bolo Buddies or something like that so that I know you're a subscriber. And this one sold for $25 plus shipping and got the original box. And it's pretty cool. I picked this up at a garage sale. I think I paid a couple bucks for it. It was another thing where it was kind of like a bulk buy. I bought all of their Long and Burger items and she gave me one price and I don't remember what that one price was. So uh, this hand came from the same sale as the mask that I showed you first. So I'm guessing I have about a dollar in it. Uh, it did have some issues. Uh, you can see here the foam is showing, but people that are using these as props, you know, they don't really care. <laughs> it still functioned properly, I think. Yeah, I have a video that tells how it works and it shows um, basically just that the item is in working order and what exactly it does. Uh, I sold this for $10.10 in the buyer paid shipping. So definitely major bread and butter. If it would have been um, in better condition, I could have gotten a lot more because Vintage Halloween is definitely a great bolo. This item I sold to a subscriber, which is awesome. Thank you so much. Um, she messaged me on my YouTube channel after she watched one of my unboxings for one of my jewelry videos and she asked me to list it. And I listed it and I sent her the link and there were actually two or three of them and I wasn't sure which one she wanted. So I sent her both links and she ended up buying this one from me. So it's a beautiful piece. It's um, amethyst and it's pretty long. It's really, really pretty. It's definitely vintage. It's got the vintage clasp here. So I sold this for $30 plus shipping. The next item I sold were these Tommy Hilfiger jean shorts. I picked these up at a garage sale, I think for a buck or two, and I sold them for $30.80 plus shipping. So yes, I'm not really buying clothes anymore, but if I can find something that I know I can flip for about $30 at a garage sale for a buck or two, I'm definitely gonna grab it, even though I hate selling clothes. Um, I used to love it, it's all I did for many, many years, but I just have, I'm, I'm into the hard goods right now. The next item, again, um, picked it up at a garage sale for like a buck and I sold it for $25 plus shipping. This is a Christopher and Banks jean skirt and it's a skirt, and that's kind of what made me grab it, you know, because it's got those built in shorts underneath and it was new with tags. The next item is this lot of 25 pendants. I sold this for asking price of $30.80, the buyer shipped. And there's some cute pendants here. They could probably resell it and make some money. Maybe they're going to keep some. I don't know. Um, but I decided I have so much jewelry that I am lotting some of it up. So this was one of my lots from the I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay, 350 pounds. The next item are these Lego Friends replacement bag. Um, I picked these up at a Goodwill and it was like, there was no box, but it was a bag of Legos and they were in the individual box or at bags like this. And there was one instructions manual. So that is how I knew which set it went to. And I think I sold three or four bags so far. The Heartland Grand Hotel is definitely a bolo, but I'm not doing too shabby with the, the individual bags. 
This bag sold for $22 plus shipping. The next item is this Barbie twist and turn stand. Uh, this I sold for $11.88 plus shipping. And this was a bulk buy, just a bunch of Barbie stuff. I can't even remember. So I didn't have much in this at all. All right, this Shrek came from a thrift store. I think I paid five for him and I sold him for $26.40 plus shipping. He's pretty big, so the shipping was kind of high and he did have some dirt on his sleeve, which I think it's just where he fell onto the ground at the thrift store, but I didn't clean it. So I just disclosed that he was a little dirty. Here's another Lego bag. I took a best offer on this one for $20 and the buyer paid shipping. Here are some of the mirrors from that I got it free garage sale. If you guys haven't seen that video, go check out what I got free at this garage sale. They just wanted everything gone. So um, I sold two for 20 um, to the same person and they paid the shipping. Typically what I do for shipping on most items, as long as it's not a heavy item, I'll do um, if you purchase two or more items, it's a flat rate of $5 shipping. So that applies to like my jewelry, most of my clothing, um, lighter weight items. So the next item are these Stella and Dot earrings. These came from the, I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay, bulk buy 350 pounds. And I think right here is where it says Stella and Dot. I like the brand Stella and Dot to resell. I feel like it does pretty, pretty good. I sold these for $20, $20. Sorry, I took a best offer and the buyer paid shipping. The next item are these Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This is definitely a bread and butter item, but um, this came from a garage sale a while back. I bought a big tote of uh, Burger King, McDonald's toys, and they were already labeled. The bags were labeled with like the year and where they were from. So it was really easy to list them. This one it took a while to sell. I, I knew this was bread and butter. I sold it for $7 plus shipping. And you know, I didn't make a lot of money, but the buyer sent me great feedback and they were really excited to have this item. So that's kind of cool. The next item is this four strand necklace and clip on earrings. This came from a garage sale. Um, again, it was kind of like a, a shoe box with like, I don't know, five to 10 pieces in it. And I paid one price and I can't remember what it was. So I probably have like a buck in this. And I sold it for $30.80 plus shipping. The next item are these paints. Um, I bought a, a set and I took the paints out because um, I don't know if it was incomplete. I can't remember why I did it, but I was hoping it was going to be like when it ended up being a bread and butter item, but that's okay. I still made money. I think I paid $5 for the whole set and I sold this for $15 plus shipping. Okay, so these I picked up at a thrift store. Uh, I think there was like eight of them in the lot. I cannot remember what the price was, maybe $8 or $12. And then I think I had a discount, um, a coupon. So um, I decided instead of selling them as a lot to sell them individually, which ended up, it's paying off doing them individually. I am having to wait longer for the items to sell, but I think I've sold three or four of them. And I took, uh, nope, this sold for full asking price of $22 and the buyer paid the shipping. The next item is this Transformers game. Um, it's an Xbox One game. I got this from the, T uh, not TJ Maxx, uh, Toys R Us going out of business sale. Oh my goodness. I'm so glad these things are finally starting to sell from the Toys R Us. But I sold this for $27.72 and the buyer paid shipping. And I bought it when it was 90% off. So I can't remember what the retail price was. So I can't say for sure what I had in it because I don't remember. It might be my note somewhere. Okay, the next item is this Shopkins playset. And it's got, oh, it's got a ton of stuff. I thought this was going to actually do better. But the shipping costs were so high that um, it brought down the price of what I was able to get for it which is fine because most of these items came from garage sales and I usually pick them up because I sell the Shopkins separately. So I got $30 from this and the buyer paid the shipping. So I still made money, but uh, not as much as I had hoped. 
the next item is this casino chip. Okay, so this is one of those where it just came with a bunch of stuff I got. And I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to list it and see. And I think I might have auctioned it first and I didn't get any bids. So I just threw it up there for a low price. And, you know, surprisingly, it sold for $4.74 plus shipping. N major bread and butter. But you guys, I have like nothing in it. And it's a learning experience. You know, some of those casino chips are big money. The next item is this Red Lines Hot Wheels. Poor, poor, poor condition. It's awful. I can't believe it sold, but I sold it for $5.50 <laughs> and the buyer paid the shipping. So I, I don't understand it, but I thought I would try it. So it sold kind of exciting. <laughs> the next item is this vintage Batat surfer toss water toy. And I thought this was going to be a bolo, but it ended up being a bread and butter. And I was just happy to see it find a home. It was uh, sold for $10 and the buyer paid the shipping. The next item is one of my cat's meow village uh, ornaments. And I took a best offer of $8.99 and the buyer paid shipping. These aren't very big. They're just little. Um, I, I think I've posted the garage sale video where I got all of these. I got tons and I've listed quite a few and I've sold a few. And I have so many to list and I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I may just start putting them in lots because I'm getting lazy. <laughs> so definitely we'll make more money selling them individually, but I just don't know if I have the patience. So moving on. The next item, I sold another frog. Um, these I think I ended up paying, gosh, 30 cents or something like that for them. Not very much. And I took a best offer of $13 plus shipping. I still have some of these left, but they are actually moving pretty good. So if anybody wants a frog, link is in the description of the video. The next item is this mask. Um, it's not in great condition. It's, uh, it's eyes kind of like popped out. It's hair is a mess. It's a mess. But I listed it uh, because I know that vintage Halloween sells. And you can see here, it's really... Um, deteriorating around the the neck area so i took a best offer on this for 15 dollars plus shipping this was a part of that halloween lot that uh, the first and the third item i showed you so again like a dollar or two the next item are these mattel barbie doll kids children and toddlers i took a best offer of 14 dollars on these and the buyer paid shipping i picked these up at a garage sale and a huge lot of stuff so not much in them the next item is this antique vintage collar and gloves. I took a best offer of $20 on these. The buyer paid shipping. I do believe these came from either an estate sale or a garage sale in a lot of items. So that concludes this video. These are my bread and butter items. There were 27 of them. Let me know in the comments if you made it this far. Um, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And tell me what, which item was your favorite bread and butter of this video. All right, you guys, thanks for watching and have a great day.